we've dealt with Malaysia Airlines and their insurance companies. In the case of Malaysia Airlines, they, the clients um, find that Malaysia Airlines is liable as well by flying the zone they flew. Uh, and uh, we found compensation by that for the damage they lost. What kind of damages? Well, you have to think about several kinds of damages, the funeral costs, but also um, kids who stayed behind, lost their parents, they cannot be su supported anymore, financially supported. So that, that kind of damages has been um, compensated by Malaysia Airlines. In the phase we are um, having the procedures now is mainly because of finding the truth, finding what happened. Uh, every single family member is still uh, trying to find the puzzle. They, they want to know what happened. Um, the joint investigation team is trying to find out what happened. They are looking for ev evidence who is responsible. And they are also looking at Russia mm -hmm. because it looks like Russia has a big role in this. And when they approach Russia, the Dutch authorities but also the clients, then Russia says, we didn't do anything wrong. You have to be at Ukraine and look at Ukraine. You don't, do not do anything against Ukraine. And the clients do not agree with that. They have seen that several years ago already Russia is spreading information that's not correct. Spreading information about uh, a, a jet that was near, uh, spreading information about radar uh, images that not, that's not true and even false. So the way Russia is acting uh, was the reason for our clients to ask us as the law office to do anything against Russia, to find out the truth. And when you go to the European court, there is a possibility at the European court to say Russia is acting in a way that is violating our human rights. And that's the case against you in the European court. What we have stated and what we are arguing in the Euro European court is that Russia is filing, violating the human rights of the family members and that they have violated the human rights of the passengers by shutting down or at least support uh, the, the rebels for shutting down MH17. And when the European Court will uh, decide on this case, Russia has to answer on these complaints. They haven't done that till today, and then they have to, otherwise maybe the European Court will convince them for, convict them for that. The European Court now will do is that they will look at the statue, uh, and the statue of the Europe European Court says first, when you com complain about the country, you have to complain in that country itself. So in this case, we had to go to Russia to complain about Russia. Um, what we have argued in the case is that, that it's not an efficient way to complain because the way Russia acted is not according to international standards. Russia only said we didn't do anything, there's no evidence, we do not have any responsibility. And they even uh, acted uh, on a way that you can ask if that was correct in the way that they have, uh, as I said before, they have spread information that was not real information, the radar uh, images and, and, and so forth. So what the European Court will uh, decide now is the question, can we um, complain directly at the European Court? Um, the European Court already uh, informed us that they have accepted the complaint, but they did not rule about it. So what they will do now is rule about the question if you can directly complain at the European Court. I think it will take about a year, maybe a year and a half before we know that ruling. If the European Court says that we can complain directly at the European Court, then the, start, the, 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 the file will really start, the case will really start. And in that case, the Russian Federation has to answer to the complaint. And then that's what we are hoping for. The, the passengers and at least, at least the family members will get answers on the questions they have.